Hello friends, this video on structure of atom power 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 32. Let's understand the energies of orbital for hydrogen. Please note sorry for hydrogen. So here uh, in hydrogen, the energy is determined only by principal quantum number. So 1s will have less energy or 2s and p will have equal energy All 3s pd will have same energy. 4s pdf will have same energy but 4 will be more than 3, 3 will be more than 2 and much like this. This is only for hydrogen, not for the multi electrons either. Orbitals having same energy are called degenerate cells. They are called uh, degenerate cell. The oneness in the hydrogen atom are is the most stable condition and it's called ground state. Ground state. Right? And the, the electrons in this orbital are strongly held by nucleus. They have minimum energy. Electrons in 2s, 2p and our higher orbitals are called excited state because they are not in ground state, they are excited state and they have lesser energy. It's easy to pluck the, uh, the electrons out of the excited state orbitals. And the only electrical interaction between the hydrogen atoms is the is between the negatively charged electron and nucleus. That's the only electrical interaction, the positive uh, nu nucleus and the negative electron. So for a multi-electron atom, the energies if you see that does not depend on n always. That depends on L also, that is N plus L defines the energy of the multiple multi electron atom. Right? And the main reason is uh, the mutual repulsion which gets among the electrons in the multi electron atom. That's the reason why the L also comes into picture. Right? So the stability of the electron in the multi electron atom is because the total attractive interaction. Okay, that is more than the repulsive interaction because there are so many electrons and there, there are repulsive attraction between electrons also in the multi electron atoms and there is a, pro, a positive nucleus, there is an attraction also here, there is a repulsion also here. So all this force combined and the attraction is more than repulsion and those things happen and then we get the final stability of a electron. Right? If you see the attractive interaction increase with the increase in positive charge, obviously because if this is more, the attraction of proton and electron will be more. There is something called shielding effect of outside electrons for multi-electron atoms. So if you see the presence of electrons in the inner shells, if I have my uh, nucleus, I have electrons here in 1s, then I have electron here in 2s, then p and d. Right, so these electrons are there. These electrons uh, creates a uh, cell, the, or this the electrons screens the effect of this nucleus on these two electrons. Right, the effect is lowered due to the partial screening of the positive charge by the inner cell electron, and this is called shielding effect. This is called shielding of out shell electron by the inner shell electron, and the Z effect is the effective nuclear charge which this guy has on the nucleus. Correct. But despite the shielding of outer electron by the inner electron, the attractive force experienced by this electron increases with increase in nuclear charge because this is more, right? This is more. This is let's suppose 10, this becomes 20. This there is a decrease. But let's suppose there's a fifty percent decrease, right? So if there's a fifty percent decrease by the uh, shielding. So instead of ten, it will experience the outer shell will experience five in this case. Here, if you have put twenty here, the the, the nuclear charge increases. The fifty percent screening, you still get ten. The effect is ten. So you can see here, in spite of screening, the effect is experienced, right? The attractive force increases with the increase in nuclear charge. Hope you understand this point. See the screening is there. Let's assume the screening 
is the effect is 50 percent so whatever charge you get this guy outer cell guy gets a 50 percent of that so in this case 50 percent becomes five in this case it will become 10 so even if the screening is there in this case right the effect is more you increase the charge on the nucleus and the energy of interaction between the nucleus and electron that is the orbital energy decrease nucleus and electron with the increase of atomic number that is if you take let's suppose one particular electron here if you increase this number here of the nucleus this nuclei will tightly held this electron so the ele the electron energy will be all the more less right if you increase the number atomic number here there is a charge of the nucleus this nucleus will held less electrons all the more tightly and thus the energy will be less the shielding effect does not depend only on n it depends on l also i'll show you why see because the all this attractive and repulsive interaction depends also on the shape of the orbitals right example if you see the uh, spherical spherical in shape the s orbitals they shield more because they get more chance the electrons in the s cell get more chance to be near nucleus as compared to p orbitals and right? because shape the shape is different or d orbitals so if it is s shell it will shield the outer electrons all the more than p or d correct right and thus you can say that this z effective the shielding effect or the effective uh, z experienced by the orbital decrease with increases azimuthal number right that is s orbital will be more tightly bound to nucleus than p orbital and p in turn will be more tightly bound to nucleus and d orbitals so the z effect experienced by the orbitals that decrease with increase in azimuthal quantum Correct. The energy of S orbital will be lower. Why? Because it is more tightly held to electron. So it's very simple. If you if the uh, the the nuclei is holding this electron more tightly, the energy of this electron will be less. It will have less freedom, right? So less energy it will have. So S orbital will uh, will held the electron in the S orbital will be more tightly held to the nuclei because of the shape so the energy in the s orbital will be less than the p orbitals hope you understand this see the electron is more tightly held to the nucleus the energy of that electron will be less for s orbital this particular electron is more tightly held with s orbital so the energy is less or you can say more negative actually it will be more negative So thus we have seen the energy of orbitals depends on n and l and it was very complicated right just now we have seen it depends on n the shape of orbitals so it's to make our life simple we just have a thumb rule the lower the value of n plus l the lower is the energy if two orbitals have same value of n plus l the lower the value of n will take for the lower energy the simple uh, rule which we have given but this rule is not 100% correct but it works in most of the case because we don't want to deal into all the complexity in this class it would be all uh, too much for us to absorb now so we'll just use this formula n plus l lower the value lower is energy if there is a conflict we'll take the one with lower value of n to have lower energy right And please note the energy of orbitals in the same subcells decrease with increase of atomic number. For example, if you see potassium, right, it has more, more protons, more protons, more protons. So this guy will held electron all the more. Since it will held electron all the more, the energy will be less. Hydrogen has less proton. It will held the electron less since the electron is held little in a weaker way the electron will have higher energy 
Hope you understand this. Since more proton, it will held the electron more tightly. Since the electron is held more tightly, the energy of electron is less. In this case, only one proton, it is loosely held this electron. So this loosely held electron will have more energy. So for arranging the orbitals, we just follow the n plus l rule. 1s, 2p, s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, like this, because you see, this is n plus l rule. In this case, n is equal to 1, l, s, l is equal to 0, so 1 plus 0 is 1. Here, n is equal to 2, l is equal to 0, 2. Here, 2 plus 1, 3. We had 3 plus 1, 0, 3. But if you see, if you compare this 3, 3, this guy is 3, this guy is 2. So we'll take this guy as low energy. 3p becomes 3 plus 1 is 4. 4s becomes 4 plus 0 is 4. Here also, both are 4. So we'll compare these two. 3, this is n is 3, n is 4. So we'll take this as lower energy. And that's why we see this is all n plus L3. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.